one of the things you talk about in your book quite a lot of with having your own business is the importance of having a having a why mm -hmm. having a reason that's going to get you up in the morning you know get you up when it's five o'clock in the morning and it's dark and get you out there and making making things happen yeah oh totally and, and, and my why i never had one my why back in the day was to go and get stoned and, and party at weekends that was my why you know that was my why and i ended up living for those weekends where you look forward to uh, 6 p.m you know and then party time until sunday and then you feel like shit until wednesday you know that was my that was my why back then and then all of a sudden family comes along and my why now is about being sensible and creating not a role model because i don't consider myself a role model but create a, uh, a home and a, and a stable environment and, and a dad that the, the boys i've got three but two boys and a young girl um you know, can look up to and honestly go, you know what, this is my dad and, and uh, that's what I can be. Because once again, it, you know, in terms of my toolkit, I didn't have anything conventional to allow me to succeed. But if I look at anyone, if you think about um, any of your audience here, listeners, looking at what you've got in, in your toolkit, my toolkit was, I was street savvy. I was, I'm a risk taker. You know, all these sort of things have been massive qualities that you can't sort of teach them on. And I think I've used every every element of what I stand for. And the fact is, you and I are talking now, doing 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 this interview. You know, ten years ago, I couldn't have done, done this. But what's happened over the last ten years? I built that experience up. I built that experience up, and I'm now climbing. So, see, ten years ago, I was great at chatting girls up, fabulous, right? Great at chatting girls up and making joints and, and getting stoned. Not so good at it now, to be honest, because I'm married and I'm behaving myself. But what I'm trying to say is whatever you focus on, you apply it. And this is the thing, if you've only got a, like a like bandwidth, if you've only got bandwidth in terms of what, what you're applying your bandwidth to, are you applying your bandwidth to being Mr. Cool when you go out on weekends? Well, that's great. But you've got less bandwidth to apply yourself at being good at business or good at jobs or whatever it is. So you've only got 100% of resource. You need to define it like your computer game. You need to define where you apply your resource. And right now, I think I'm applying 50% of my life to business, 50% of my life to family. I think it was as, as uh, the, the equilibrium was probably 85% business, 15% family um, as recent as three years ago. So I managed to get that balance right in my, in my life. And when I say uh, balance, what I do is, is I do what I want when I want. That's the reality of it. So, so if I can't be asked working, I won't work. I'll go and play computer games. If I want to work, I'll put the computer games down and go and work. So I'm working at optimum performance with everything. Whereas when you're employed, you've got to sit there till half five pretending to work. You know, quarter past five, thinking fucking hell, 15 more minutes to go. Tap 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 tap. Only five more minutes to go. Just pretending to work. What a waste of everyone's life. Waste of employers' time. Waste of your life. But that's what we do in, in this world. So my why. Is to make a positive difference to my family. It's also to take my kids to Disney World. I take them to Disney World every year. We're on a wonderful holiday there. And that's like, when you think working class lad Manchester, no one want to go to Disney World on these 18 day, 21 day vacations. 10 years ago, how would I have managed to do that? It would have been, you know, it would have been okay for everyone else who was there. But somewhere along the way, the decisions that I've made, that I've made, have brought me to a position where I can do just that.